and fairly historic Detroit neighborhood. This house is 90 years old and we like the quality of the homes here, but most especially we like our neighbors and our community here. On um, Thursday evening, my husband went out to walk a friend to her car and take the trash in, and unfortunately, two young men approached him from behind and told, them, told him they didn't want to hurt him, but they want to come in our home, and they had a gun. He did not struggle with them, but he turned around and basically stammered the words, no, and the one gentleman therefore shot him. He just didn't comply with what they asked for, and so they shot him. One gentleman shot him, and then ran off. And my son and I heard the gunshot, although I don't know what gunshots sound like up close. I thought it was something else, not knowing what it was. However, my husband was lying on the ground yelling, help me, I've been shot, call 911. I saw the two young men run away. I knew I could not catch them at that point, so I decided not to run after them. And as soon as they got in their car, I did yell a profanity at them before they got in their car. There went my anger, and then it was time to tend to my husband, who was shot in the leg, in the knee, and we started the process of getting help. And a neighbor across the street was nearby, and we called for his help, which he gladly offered and came. And another neighbor called our, uh, our other neighbor, who's an ER doctor, and she's fabulous and came running. Unfortunately, she was the first to slip on our icy sidewalk and fall on top of my husband in some pain, but got right to work, gave commands of what we needed to do. And about that time, lots of Detroit police arrived and took over and transported my husband to, to the hospital. I don't want to spend any time being angry. I don't want it to happen to anyone else. I would like to see justice served. But I also want to say, don't use this to be angry at the city of Detroit. The city of Detroit's complicated. And, I, and how do I feel now? I feel more than ever. We've got to get our kids a good education so they can get a job, so they can provide, so they feel proud, so they have meaning to their life. Unfortunately, I guess these two men felt hopeless and made choices that I don't agree with and made choices that I wish they hadn't. Um, but everyone's praying for my husband and us. I really appreciate that. I would like prayers for these two young men. I, something to convert them. I don't know what that will be. And, um, you know, this, this community, this city, we can't let it go.